Hey there, Spinny Boy here, and today I'll be reviewing the recently released movie Ghostbusters. This movie was directed by Paul Feig, who also directed other movies such as Spy, Bridesmaids, and The Heat. Ghostbusters stars Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones. So this movie follows the four unlikely heroes who've banded together to, to stop a paranormal uprising in New York City. Now with this movie, there's there's been a lot of hate thrown at it. And for some parts of it, I can understand, but there are other parts where I, I just, I, I can't understand. Well, I tried to see this movie with, with an open mind, and it was, it, it was, it was tolerable. I felt as if this movie didn't really bring anything new to the table, which is what reboots are supposed to do. This movie was relying on funny scripting quips to get the audience to enjoy themselves instead of actually having a good story. In my opinion... The standout performances throughout this movie were Kate McKinnon and Chris Hemsworth, the only two that are really worth mentioning. Chris Hemsworth played the dumb male receptionist in this movie, and he did have his fair share of lines. Um, one thing I can say I did like about him as well was the fact that he had a bigger part in this movie than the receptionist from the 1984 version, which I know we shouldn't be comparing this version to the 1984 version, but... I'm a human, and it's what I'm going to do, so get over it. However, there were some scenes where he didn't have to be there, and I didn't really understand why he was there. Also, I didn't really enjoy or like the villain as much. We, we didn't really get much of a backstory behind him. It was just there, and they're like, he's the bad guy, and we're like, why? And like, because he's doing this, and we're like, uh, okay, uh, I guess we'll agree with you and go along. I don't know what other story he has behind him. Another great performance in this movie was Kate McKinnon, and... By far one of my favourite scenes in this movie was uh, a scene, you know, with involving solely Kate McKinnon and a bunch of paranormal entities. And in this in this scene, she was she was hilarious and she absolutely kicked ass, which was great. Some of the other problems I had with this film was I felt as if Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig could have been a lot funnier. Not that they they're not good actresses; they're great actresses, but. In a lot of the other films, they're really funny, like they get to blossom a bit, but this one, they didn't. It, this, the script and stuff didn't really show off their humour a lot. I also didn't really like the cameos. Yes, there's cameos. If you've seen this, the trailers, you know there's cameos. It's no secret. I didn't really like it. I felt as if they were disrespectful to the original cast, who really paved the way for these sort of movies. Look, don't get me wrong. There were parts in this movie that I enjoyed, even though if there were, you know, a little amounts of them. But all in all, this movie was tolerable. I wouldn't waste my hard earned money for a full price ticket though. I'm gonna give this movie a 4 out of Sven. I wouldn't recommend this movie. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I, my apologies for this video being out so late. I've just been bombarded with so many things in my life at the moment, and I just thought I'd, you know, make another one. There'll, there'll be another one coming out this week. Hopefully, I'll be reviewing the new Star Trek movie that's coming out, so we'll see how that goes. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and comment movies you'd like to see me review in future videos. Also, don't forget to check out last week's video, well, the week before that's video, which will be here in the corner. And until next time, have a great day and night wherever you are. See ya.